you can shop all around the globe and never leave Scranton. Hey everyone, welcome. We're exploring a garage today in Scranton. A garage that's really old and yeah, there's still some original things here, but most of the stuff's kind of modernized, but still really cool. As you can see, time to turn behind us. Let's go exploring. First of all, look at this tourney road. Do you not see how cool that is? It goes up to nowhere. That is so cool. This is probably one of the creepiest garages in Scranton. We're gonna explore it. I don't know if my scooter can make it up this hill. Oh, this is creepy, 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 creepy. Let's talk about the Globe Store, which is the reason why this parking garage was built. The Globe Store was a regional department store in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and it was founded in 1883 by John Simpson and John Cleland. It closed in 1994. Back in those days, the cars can barely fit in these garages. Can you just imagine them? It's absolutely amazing. Creepy, 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 creepy. But cool. Oh. Wow. This is unbelievable. Holy crap. The ceiling is number one, like, really low. This garage is definitely like 40s, 50s. There's two sets of creepy elevators. Creepy elevators they are. Wait till you see some of these lifts. And they are all traction lifts too, by the way. I almost feel Which, like I'm those of you head. who are a fan of engineering, uh, you would know what that means. But this garage is just, Really, really cool. Really creepy elevator. Wow, that is definitely the creepiest elevator. So tiny. It was definitely modernized, but... Holy crap. Oh my gosh, this is the creepiest elevator! Wow, that is a creepy, creepy elevator. Ah, I was actually scared of that. Oh, this is amazing up here. And here we have the Times Tower. This is so cool up here. This is actually a really neat garage. I mean, this is old. All right, so there's one, we're gonna do one more ride on the creepy elevator, and then we're gonna go over to the surprise creepy elevators. And I said elevators. Do you not see how cool that is? It goes up to nowhere. That is so cool. Times Tower. And then it goes all the way down which is really bumpy, so I guess for traction. This is the exit.
And now we're gonna go down this creepy elevator again. As you could see, it's old style doors. Diamond plating. Go to G. This is creepy as heck. It is traction. Yep. Very tiny. Never leave Scranton. So this garage, as you can see, Electric City Parking Garage, was actually built for the Globe Store, which was like a New York style department store down here in Scranton. And uh, let's go in here. These elevators out of service? They are not. And here we are on the other part of the old garage. Back looking at the Times Tower. Ooh, look at, we can see all the way down the valley, everyone. I will say, riding those elevators are very scary <laughs> because they are not ever used, number one. And number two, it's really dark. That's where we were. And now we're gonna go back down. Look at how cool. Looks like we're gonna get some rain, maybe. And then you have these cute little elevators <laughs> just chilling here. Going down. goes down into a hole. Like I said, very hard to film. I didn't know I was gonna be filming today, so I didn't bring any camera holder or nothing. But anyway, uh, so that garage serviced the Globe Store uh, originally, which is now the Lackawanna County Government Center. And the Globe Store was an amazing old five-story, everything under one roof department store that people would come from all over the Scranton area and even further all over the area to shop. And it was New York style shopping right downtown. A lot of the coal miners and things were happening. So Scranton was a hustle and bustle in town. Now I'm gonna show you the front of the Globe Store. This is the front of the Globe Store, which is now the Lackawanna County Government Center. If you like these exploring old vintage videos, then tune in for more and leave a like so I can make more of them because I will definitely make more of them. Hope you enjoyed riding on those creepy lifts because I'll tell you right now, I was scared, but I did it for you. <laughs> I just went in your garage and it went up that whole incline. Like, if, I mean, what is that? Like 20, so <laughs> I didn't get it on video, but uh, I was just stopped by the parking authority. Um, I 100% thought I was getting in trouble for going in that garage. However, I wasn't. He was actually a really cool dude. 
and he was inquiring about my scooter because, you know, people want these things. I mean, these scooters are a blast. We can ride all over town in these things. So what he was wondering is how much of a grade or a hill can this thing climb? So I said, well, it climbed your garage totally fine. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I was supposed to be there. He's like, yeah, we're not worried about that. But he, they, you know what? They know me. Um, he, the people do know me downtown. And uh, they know that I don't bother anybody. Um, in fact, if anything, I'm actually watching, which is helping to secure the facilities. So, you know, uh, I just want to shout him out. Thank you so much for uh, stopping me today. I hope you get this scooter. And if you do, sir, you better flag me down. We'll go riding together. But um, yeah, thank you so much guys for tuning in. Uh, here we are at the Vintage Garage again. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's like a blast from the past. Just think about the old giant cars that used to drive in that little road right there. It's almost impossible, guys. I couldn't even drive my scooter in there, let alone a big boat of a car. So that was awesome. I'm so glad. I love it when people are nice and positive. You know, so many people are ready to hate and argue and cause issue. But not, not pe you know, there really is still some good people. So, and I just want to shout out those good people, especially that gentleman from Parking Authority. I'm not going to shout out who he is exactly, but yeah, I think that was really nice. So tune in for more. Um, hit that like button if you do like exploring with me here at Life Plus. And also my new channel, NEPA Watch, N-E-P-A Watch. It's mostly focused on Pennsylvania news and information and things going on in the area, but also exploring videos as well. So I'll upload a copy of this video to that channel as well. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. This is an interesting hallway. Here's some old pictures of Scranton. Cool. Oh wow, it's Christmas time there. This is probably when this garage was built, actually. Look at that. Look at all the pride. All the flags. That's amazing. I did not know that, that, that any of these photographs were here. Lackawanna County Sheriff. Excuse me, my taxpayer's dollars at work. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Why am I in trouble? You're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, that grade ain't fun. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. That one's got like ridges that like yeah, for the traction. Yeah, for traction. And yeah. this thing was like bouncing all over the way. <laughs> but it has shocks though, so it's got like it's got a little little bounce to it, you know. Yeah. But yeah, that's going, I went to see about an e-bike. Yeah. But I didn't like the cost. You know, eventually in the years coming, they're going to go down. Oh, absolutely. But my only concern is getting up Piston Avenue. I think you That's might... That's my only concern. Or I will, I will, I will buy one. Make sure it's any a 500 watt motor or up. Right. 500 watt. Okay. Not 350. Right. At but, least 500 or more. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Could you imagine the old fashioned cars going in here back in the 40s and I 50s? Can't, I can't imagine. I can't even I can't even maneuver my scooter up that hill, like let alone a big boat. Yeah, especially in the winter time. I know, like, like how they do it. How they were all going to the globe store. Yeah, going to That's the what it was. Store, yeah. You could shop all around the globe. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out Life See, Plus. Life Plus, yep. Right. It's not a big channel, but I do it for yeah, fun. Yeah, you know. Thank you. Right, See you later. You can shop all around the globe. You know, the video just keeps going. <laughs> I was trying to end this video minutes ago, and everybody's just so cool, you know? Like, people are just being nice, positive. It's just been a really good couple days. I, With everything going on with the cancer stuff and, like, all the negativity I'm dealing with, I could use it. Um, Maybe we should get some ice cream. Ooh, Blue Ribbon. They got the good stuff in there, huh? Blue Ribbon Ice Cream. Look it up, ladies and gentlemen. It's good ice cream. I can't stop singing that Globe Store song. There's actually another garage right there, which is a vintage, vintage garage as well. All right, I think we're going to explore another garage another day, because this is just... We're doing too much today. Oh, check out the Penn Security Building. Look at the, scat, uh, the side steps on the side. <laughs> 
I just rode right through a restaurant again. <laughs> And as we close this extra long video, we are taking a look at the mall at Steamtown, also known as the Marketplace at Steamtown, parking garage, which is directly under the structure. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it was dragged out, but exploring is fun. So we take a little ride, we enjoy the sights and sounds and smells, yada yada. I hope you enjoyed the video again. Thank you so much again for tuning in. My name is Kyle here for Life Plus. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Cha -ching. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you like exploring, well, this is the channel. Normally, people won't explore on their own and maybe you have like a hankering for exploring but you don't want to do it so I'm going to do it for you.